Yo, 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 what's up, people? This your boy P. Ross back in the building with another video. And um, 17 years today, November 20th, Prince released his 24th full-length studio album, The Rainbow Children. Um, it was released uh, prior to that um, through the MPG Music Club, October 16, 2001. Um, I remember those days with the subscription and all that, but that's a whole nother video. But, um, yeah, 17 years ago, Rainbow Children. Um, this is definitely one of my top 10 albums. You know what I mean? It's definitely in my top 10. The Rainbow Children is banging. And when I talk about this album with people, um, you know, some of the conversations that I've had about it and some of the complaints, uh, first is the opening track or throughout the album when he's talking like in a slowed down voice or whatever. Um, some people can't get past that. I don't understand why. You know what I'm saying? It just puts a little extra layer to the album that makes it unique. Um, not only that, you get past Camille voice, but you can't even get past his voice. All right, whatever, cool. Um, another aspect is the Jehovah Witness influence on this album. Um, for me, uh, religion is a perspective, what someone feels and how they connect with their God. I can't hold that against anyone. Now, if the album was whack, I would just say it was whack. You know what I mean? I'm not going to get into religion or whatever. You know, I understand where he's coming from. Not that I necessarily agree, but I understand. And it's dope music. And this album here was considered to be, for him, according to the Hyper Sticker on the Front, the controversial new album by Prince. And I can see where it could get a little controversial with things like Family Name. Um, you know. Uh, what else? What else are some things people have complained about with this? Oh, Wedding Feast. Uh, the little skit, I believe it's track 10. Um, a lot of people complain about that and they actually consider this a, a song, but it's kind of a skit to me that kind of fits in with the format of the whole album. You know, so I mean, for me, you got the work part one, which is very much James Brown influence. Um, then you have like Muse of the Pharaoh, uh, Mellow, you know, with that neo soul thing going on. And the funkiest track on the album is one plus one plus one is three. Um, I've heard people compare this track to Erotic City. But it's funky. It's not as funky as Erotic City. But I think that it's a dope track. Myself. So, also, this album is going for ridiculous amounts. The CD and the vinyl. Um, the CD is ranging from anywhere from, like, uh, $39.99 on up depending on what country you get it from you know I've seen the Rainbow Children CD on eBay uh, the Korean uh, import $199 you know what I mean so like if you didn't get this thing when it first came out or when they stopped printing it you know if you're trying to get it now, you're definitely going to pay a pretty penny for the CD. Like I said, $39.99 and up. Unless you get it used, and getting it used may not really be worth it, even if you're paying like $20 for it. If you're going to pay $20, you might as well put another $20 with it and go ahead and get a sealed copy for yourself. You know what I mean? But it's even worse when it comes to the vinyl. Now, the vinyl is a whole nother issue itself. Again, depending on where you get this from, another country, uh, if it's a promo, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? I've seen this thing go up to $800 at its peak. And that's for the vinyl version. I think you can actually find one um, somewhere between like 460 and maybe $600. You know what I mean? Um, 
and it's ridiculously insane but you know what it's an investment that you can buy and it ain't gonna do nothing but appreciate in value to me you know what i mean due to how rare it is but uh i don't own a vinyl copy i would love to get a vinyl copy one day um i will have a vinyl copy one day of this album but five hundred dollars right now for me is a little bit out of my price range you know what i mean but it gets worse when you talk about promos and singles from this album now here we have an extremely rare prince jazz sampler promo cd for the rainbow children going for eight hundred dollars eight hundred dollars that just goes to show you how rare this project is how special it is um I think at the time the Rainbow Children may have sold like somewhere upwards of a hundred thousand copies, um, and that's with it not even being in the stores like that, you know, um, you know, and of course Prince reaped all the benefits off of it, you know what I mean? Because there was no middleman in between, so he got paid. But eight hundred dollars for a promotional CD for the Rainbow Children, yo, this thing is really, really special. I know I'm not paying no $800, but I know there are people out there with deep pockets that would pay for this. You know what I mean? And you know what? If my pockets was that deep, I would go ahead and get it too. You know what I mean? So shout out to the Rainbow Children, this great album, um, this great piece of work that Prince gave us. For me, again, it's a top 10 album. Um worth your recognition and if you haven't listened to it yet give it a listen check it out you know what i mean let me know down in the comments what y'all think about this great work this your boy p ross and i'm out